I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm Sherry. And this is our first week uh, staying full time in our RV. Uh, a couple of interesting things with, I've discovered, and I'm going to let her talk about some of the things she discovered. So, luckily, we've done this before. So, as soon as we pulled up, our uh, fifth wheel here was at least 20 to 25 feet from the hookups. So, most people who are new, the first thing that would happen is the hoses aren't long enough. So, luckily, from experience, and that's why we were telling people you should do a lot of extended stays before you do full timing. Is we had extension hose for the septic, and we needed it. We needed an extension hose or a long hose for our water. Luckily, we had a 25 footer just fit. And then we needed a coupler for our coax cable for the television because it was too short, which we had a coupler and we had a spare coax. So that uh, that covered everything and so um, if we hadn't gone out before and we hadn't been a full timing before or done extended camping before we would have been burned so we would have to do a quick run to Radio Shack and Walmart when we so uh, no, which we've done before <laughs> which we've done before so um, the next thing that came up is your discovery about moving from one house to another to this thing so my discovery um, was when we were going from our, we had an apartment, to the RV. Having, first of all, you had to decide what are you going to take and what are you going to put in storage and what are you not going to keep at all. So um, that was actually quite enlightening to see how much stuff that we could live without. But it also was enlightening in the fact that in your apartment or your house, sorry, <laughs> the dog, uh, you have typically might have two or three bathrooms or two or three bedrooms. And so when you're consolidating everything to go into the fifth wheel, which is just one, so uh, when you have two bathrooms and you're consolidating, all of a sudden you have two of everything. You have Two soaps, you have uh, uh, two sets of hand towels, you have two sets of dishes. <laughs> I think we have four rolls of paper towels. We had lots of toilet paper that we had kept in both bathrooms. And so then all of a sudden it's like, what are we going to do with this? We had extra coffee, we had extra... We have a lot of coffee right now. Yeah, we have a lot of coffee. Um, I had two things of hand lotion, um, just this shampoo, shampoo, toiletry items and stuff. And so then when we're consolidating them, now we're doubled of everything. And you know, it's stuff that we'll use eventually, but it's going to take us a while. So I think we're pretty well set for probably a good year now. Yeah, we ought to go shopping for a while just for food. Yeah, the food wise, we'll still have to do quite frequently, but. Some of the other staple supplies, it's like we're set for a while. And, you know, it, what made it difficult is because it takes up room. So it, that extra stuff is taking up room in here. Uh, but as we use it, you know, we will be gaining that room back. I, um, and you know, while we've been here, we've also had a chance to start doing some important things to the RV. Like uh, on a regular basis now, we're treating the slides. Um, the rubber seals with uh, silicone on a regular basis now and because uh, we know how important it is to keep those moist. Um, we're doing the slides now, um, the actual rails on them. We have a uh, dry lubricant um, spray that we use on those now and we're hitting those on a regular basis. We just installed a flag, which I'll show you a picture right here, of uh, of the flag we just put on the back for RV Travel Buddy, and those are kind of fun. We saw... We're spraying for bugs, too. 
Yeah, it was spring. And yeah, um, I just want to remind you on the flags, um, on Love Your RV, he did a really good uh, presentation about putting a flag pole on your um, RV. Some people just put American flag. We have RV Travel Buddies flag. Uh, Love Your RV, he has his logo on his flag. Anyway, it's kind of fun thing to do, especially if you get in groups and stuff to put flags on your RV. And the other thing we just got done doing was uh, <coughs> um, spraying on a regular basis we'll do here for bugs. Um, here, we're in Washington State, so we don't have anything like roaches or anything like that, but we do have spiders. And they're, we don't have real bad spiders, but they're just creepy. <laughs> spiders are spiders. <laughs> spiders are spiders. So we've uh, gone under every slide, every corner, every area of the slides where uh, critters could come in, and we've actually treated those with bug spray. And we'll do that on a continuous basis to just make it not very flavorful for critters that want to come in. Anything else you've noticed since we've been here? Um, no, it's we're starting to settle in and come up with our routines and it seems to be working just fine for us. I kind of like the fact, I don't know what it is, but I, I think I said in another video that I think we've met more people in this week than we've met in the three years that we were in our apartment. So it kind of tells you what the RV life is like a little bit. And the other thing is, I think, is you have the tendency to want to go outside more. Yeah. Um, well, we've had, you know, for us, we have really good weather, so we have to take advantage of it. But even Washingtonians, when it rains, we tend to go outside anyway and tr uh, act like it's sunny. But um, I don't think it's claustrophobia, but it's just because it's so easy to go outside. And, and besides, when you go outside, you have a chance to meet some folks. And so it's... Uh, it's been nice. Um, that's been kind of like a new enlightenment that I've been happy about. Um, just kind of takes a little bit of uptightness out. Anything else you can think of? I think it's nice to sit outside and have a little nip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that is very nice. <laughs> so, to our first week, Sherry and Rob, we want to thank you for watching and have a great evening. Thank Cheers. You. Bye now. Thank you for viewing our videos and please make sure you subscribe. We also have many other videos that enjoy. Just click on the links. Thank you for watching and have a great day.